Students at a new Dallas ISD school had one mission today to bring joy to children who are in the hospital. The school is on the campus of UT Southwestern. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has more on what Biomedical Preparatory Elementary School is doing in the classroom. This looks really good. This isn't your typical Dallas ISD school. I feel happy and a little bit nervous because they don't know if they like it. Biomedical Preparatory, nestled on the UT Southwestern campus, takes STEM learning to a new level. It's really cute. So our students, on top of the STEM education, they have the opportunity to go to UT Southwestern facilities for such as a simulation center. We have students with severe allergies, so over there we have the opportunity for the students to run that simulation and to also practice how to use an EpiPen. I love you. With the campus connected to the hospital, students are learning firsthand from doctors and nurses. Please have another card. Yes, you may. Thank you. The mission today, even at a very young age, is learning empathy. Whenever someone has a nice picture, it makes them smile, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. Students are making Valentine's Day cards for children in the hospital. Roberto Gonzalez is the founding principal of the school that opened two years ago. When they grow up and they become professionals, they always will know that they have to go back to the community and help in different ways. Does it feel that I'm making other kids happy? In their own way, the second graders work to bring joy to kids, some of whom are their age. It sounds like awesome right, right here, but it's actually possible. <laughs> I hope they'll think that it's the most wonderful present they ever got. While science, technology, engineering, and math are the foundation of this school, Gonzalez says the real focus is on making each student whole. If you don't serve your community, then you are not a whole. So that's what I want them to understand at the end of this activity. Stephen Dial. Okay, so there you go. Fox 4 News.